Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Diary. This is the lesson number 2 of Ethereum Blockchain Development Course for Beginner. So if you haven't gone through my first session, I would recommend to go over that session because in that session we have shown how you can set up your Ethereum development environment before you start building a smart contract. And in the same session we have explained about Remix. We have given a brief overview about Remix in that same session and what tools you need to have on your system before you start building a smart contract. So in this lesson number two, we'll talk about a smart contract. We'll give you the introduction about Remix and then introduction about smart contract. Then how, what all options you have in a Remix user interface and then we'll show you how you can build a very basic smart contract in the Remix. So let's go and start on the Remix. So as you are aware, we have discussed in the very first session, Remix comes in two flavors. The first is you can use web browser based IDE or second option is that you can go and install that IDE from your site. Okay. So we are recommending to use web browser, web browser based IDE for beginners. And then you can also use IDE, which you can install to your system and start developing the code there. For this course, you will stick to this web browser, web browser based IDE only. So here you can see there are two op, two folder which you can see browser and config. So browser is a main folder which we'll use going forward. And this browser is like your application uh, folder where you will develop all your piece of code. So whenever you open this Remix IDE, this will give you a default solidity code. You see default smart contract which you can use and refer from your site okay so if you notice here whatever files you see here the extension will be sol which is referring that these files are solidity files okay so then at top you will see some more option you can create a new file under this browser folder using this option you can add the local file to this browser option you can clone this, you can copy all the file from one ID to other ID and so on. And the main interest is on right side. If you go at right side here, you will see there are few options here like compile, run, setting, analysis, debugger and support. So compile tab is used to compile your smart contract, which we'll discuss in the next session. We will show you how you can compile your smart contract and then run is used to deploy your smart contract on different blockchains so again this will cover in the lesson three and lesson number four and five and settings will show you different settings uh, which you have the one question which i receive always from everyone that okay where we can go and check the solidity version so solidity is a language which we are using to build the smart contract there are other language also available, but Solidity is the most commonly used language. So we will stick to that only. And from here, from this drop down, you can check what all version you have for Solidity. So the current version, which we have right now is 0 0.4.25. And you can go down, you can see all the version here, starting from 1.1. Okay, so this is, so we are always selecting a newer version for compilation purpose. And if you go down, you will see some other option as well. Okay, so this this will also show you that how you can install Remix ID on your system. This has a step listed down here. Then analysis, there is a, 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 again, this is one more section which we will not use in this course. And then debugger, we will also discuss in the next session. We will show you that how you can debug your uh, smart contract in the Remix. Then this is for support. So this is how, this is very basic uh, interface which we have in a Remix, which is very simple and very basic interface which we have. So now uh, we have talked about the Remix IDE. Now let's spend some time on a smart contract. So we'll discuss about smart contract and solidity. So smart contract is nothing, this is equivalent to your class. If you have worked upon C, C++, Java, or .NET, you might be aware about a class. So smart contract is totally equivalent to class. 
So like class can have variable and function same way smart contract can have variable and functions. Okay, so we use Solidity language to build a smart contract. So the smart contract whenever we develop any functionality in smart contract whenever you compile that piece of code this will give you the byte code which will ultimately get deployed on the ethereum blockchain okay so now let's go and start developing a very basic smart contract and let's see what step we can follow to build a smart contract so first of all we will create a new file here we will go here I will give the name as student So I will show you that how you can build a very basic smart contract in this session. So you can start with this statement pragma solidity. Then you have to mention the version here which is 0 0.4.20. So the latest version is 4.25. I am using 20 version here for this uh, session. So then you will create a contract. So this is the syntax for contract and then you will mention the name here. I will mention the name as student. Starting and end. So now you can create the variable as you create in Java class. So I am creating two variables here for student. One is name, one is age. So name will be in the string and age will be unsigned integer. So I'm creating two variables here. So different data types are supported in this validity. So you can go and check from your side. So if you just say string, you can see the strings are there. Unsigned integers are there or different types. Then you have bytes which you can use in this one and so on. There are many options. Bool option is there. Okay. So there are, you can create different kind of variables in this smart contract. Now let's see how you can create the functions here. So create a function, you have to use the syntax function, function name. I will say student details. So this, this function we are creating that whenever you access this function, you will pass two parameters to this function and that will save the student name and age. So as an input, we are needing to input here which is name and age and what we'll do here we'll assign that name to name variable and we'll assign age to age variable so again very simple no not nothing complex here we are making very basic function here so now you can also put public here if you want to okay so this is optional again now we create one more function to get the student detail so this will be like get student details so this will be public and view view means that this is we are not setting any values we just get some values from this function we'll say returns This will return us two values, one is name, second is age. So we just define data type for this one, starting and ending tag, and we'll say return. So this is how you can return two values in this solidity. You can mention, I want to return name and age. So this way, you can see this is the very basic smart contract which we have developed. So this has two variables defined. This has two functions defined. The first, first function will set the value of name and age. And second function will return the value of name and age. So this is very basic sample which we have developed. And this is how the syntax of Solidity look like. So I'm hopeful that you will get some idea about how you can build a smart contract in the remix and how the syntax looks like at very high level. Thanks for watching.